Okay, guys, so in this module, we are going to discuss about FTD, TDD, and half duplex FTD. So there are three different supports or approaches uh, in which LT can be deployed. One of them is FTD. So let's start first of all with FTD scenario. In case of FTD scenario, what happens is your phone and your base station will transmit uplink and downlink at two different frequencies. So let's say you have your downlink going on frequency F1 while your uplink is coming up on a different frequency and let's call it F2. Okay, so you have both uplink and downlink going in on two different frequencies. Now, in this case, in case of FTD scenario, what are the advantages here the advantages is if you have a paired spectrum in paired spectrum FTD deployment is good and if you have symmetric utilization of both uplink and downlink then this FTD deployment is pretty good in this case on top of that since you are using two different bands or a paired spectrum band for deployment so the capacity in terms of FTD turns out to be better compared to TDD and half duplex FTD. Now, of course, there is always a trade-off when it comes to one approach over the other. There will be a trade-off if FTD can give better capacity. What's the trade-off here? The trade-off is this higher capacity is at the cost of more spectrum. When I say more spectrum, meaning that you are using not just one unpaired spectrum in fact you are using two different spectrums in this case one for uplink and one for downlink another cost which subscribers or end user equipment will have to pay in this case is let's use red color for that the other cost which subscribers have to pay is that the cost of the device will be expensive in this case cost of device increases in this scenario because in this case the device needs to have a duplexer installed a duplexer filter needs to be installed in the device to process both uplink and downlink simultaneously which can raise the cost of this specific uh, device in this case the user equipment which is being used it is uh, FTD now as I mentioned FTD is attractive for systems where requirement for uplink and downlink capacity is relative symmetric you have same requirement for uplink as well as the requirement for downlink so that's your FTD uh, the next step we will do is we will talk about TDD in case of TDD let's draw a base station here in case of TDD you have an unpaired spectrum and let's say this is at frequency f now in this unpaired spectrum you can have both uplink and downlink on the same unpaired spectrum at different times so the way uplink and downlink takes place in this case is the spectrum is divided into slots so let's say at time t1 you can have downlink at time t2 you can have downlink at time t3 downlink at time t4 downlink and then you will have uplink at time t5 and then another time t6 you will have uplink so on and so forth so the idea here in case of tdd is that the same unpaired spectrum but you are using at different times either for uplink or downlink respectively you cannot have both uplink and downlink at the same time in other words there is no duplexing involved only one uh, transmission in the downlink or uplink for any UE at a given time. Now what's the advantage for TDD? One of the advantage of TDD is the cost. Why cost is an advantage? Because in this case there is no need to have a duplexer installed in case of TDD because UEs do not have to process both uplink and downlink simultaneously. Uh, TDD is attractive for systems where the data transfer is highly asymmetric because the ratio between uplink and downlink transmission can be adjusted appropriately 
and there are different frame structures for TDD as we will learn in air interface course. And the RF carrier, so as I mentioned, both between uplink and downlink transmissions can be adjusted appropriately and the RF carrier can remain fully utilized. So if that's the requirement, then operators can go for TDD deployment. Most of the deployments in North America are in FTD, though there are few operators who are planning and they uh, started to deploy in TDD. Now, there are also some operators who go for both FTD and TDD deployment altogether. Okay. Now, if that's the case, there will be a trade-off if it is giving this less cost user equipment, what will be the trade-off here? The trade-off is its capacity as compared to FTD will be a little bit lower compared to FTD case. So it will not have the same capacity as compared to FTD, it will be a little bit lesser capacity when it comes to uh, from the perspective of radio frame structure. And in this case, the advantage, the way this particular low capacity is justified is it requires less quantity of spectrum in terms of deployment, just an unpaired spectrum can be used. So that's the trade-off in this case. The third thing which we will discuss is half duplex FTD. Okay guys, so the idea with half duplex FTD is, as it says half duplex FTD, so there will be two different spectrums or a paired spectrum, one for uplink, one for downlink. So let's draw it over here. Let's say this is the spectrum for the downlink. And then we have another spectrum over here for the uplink. And then we have, let's say, different users here. So let's say these are different users. The idea with half duplex FTD is that in this case, the scheduler or the base station, trans base station or BTS can transmit simultaneously both in uplink and downlink using two different spectrums, but the UEs cannot transmit at both or receive both at the same time. They have to follow TDD approach in this case. So if there are, let's say these five users, one, two, three, four, and five. So out of this, let's say in the downlink, you can have one, two, three users receiving downlink while you can have uh, user four and five receiving uplink. So that's the idea in case of half duplex FTD. So the users or the UEs will not have the simultaneous transmission and reception advantage. Now you may ask, okay, well, Azar, what's the advantage in this case? Uh, how it will be beneficial? Is there any benefit in terms of spectrum or cost? So let's talk about the cost. Since the UEs do not have to simultaneously process both uplink and downlink, so the advantage we have is that the cost of the devices will be lesser compared to FTD case devices. So there is no need to have a duplexer, so the cost will be lesser. So let's put a green check mark for this. This is a win situation from the consumer point of view. Okay. However, there will be a little bit of trade-off. And the trade-off uh, here is, before we go to the trade-off, let me talk uh, uh, another thing is, in this case, the uh, the other reason why half duplex FTD exists is in those scenarios where the difference between uplink and downlink spectrum is much smaller. And let's say there is very small separation between the, let's say this is the uplink band and then there is this downlink band. And then the separation in the actual uh, deployment is very small separation between uplink and downlink spectrum. In those scenarios, your half duplex FTD can work well when you have very small duplex separations or the separation between uplink and downlink RF carriers is small. In that case, duplexer designs become much more challenging and expensive. So rather than having a duplexer design, it is better to go for half duplex FTD when the two operating bands are relatively close to each other. So that's the idea in case, in this case you can say 
the uplink and downlink bands are closer R. let's use an eraser here uh, so yeah R closer so that's the idea when it comes to half duplex FTD so in the three scenarios as we discussed this one is half duplex FTD in the three scenarios we discussed FTD TDD and half duplex FTD depends on the operator what is more feasible for them how they want to deploy in a particular scenario if someone has an unpaired spectrum they have less spectrum and they want to deploy LTE and they can justify on the utilization difference of uplink and downlink or there is a asymmetry between downlink and uplink utilization of the frequency band then TDD could be a good solution if you need a lot more capacity you have bigger bandwidth available then you can go for FTD case as mentioned if you want to bring down the cost and also there is less separation between uplink and downlink spectrum then our half duplex FTD becomes a winner in that scenario so these three scenarios as a designer or as an engineer or planner can give you an idea of what deployment you should go for